Shoveling snow is Eric Jones. He's patting snow together on his hands and knees so his newest work stays stable. Say, can you grab me a chunk of two yep. by four that I can yep. wedge in the back here? We are building boxes and filling them with snow. It's all filled by hand with shovels. Uh, with me and uh, um, Salino uh, Plumbing, they, they lent a guy for me. So we, we filled the boxes and then you, you let it settle a couple of days. <laughs> back and forth, Jones packs more snow for stability. The work of art replicates a big moment in NFL when Bills quarterback Josh Allen gave a hug to kicker Tyler Bass after he missed a game-defying field goal against the Kansas City Chiefs. I saw the photo uh, after the game, and I, I changed it to my profile picture on my social media. I had several people say, hey, you should make that into a sculpture. I thought, it's a wonderful idea. And his work speaks for itself. Jones is a well-known artist in Western New York, highlighting many Buffalo Bills moments throughout the season. He captured occasions like Josh Allen's no-call horse collar tackle, as well as DeMar Hamlin during his cardiac arrest. Saturday's work of art took him about six hours to complete. Well, that just shows what Western New York community is all about when something like this happens and we, we see a situation that could be seen as adversity. We come together and we help out. It sits in the back of the 10 Lives Club, a rescue cat shelter in Western New York which has raised over $340,000 for the nonprofit's campaign, Show Your Soft Side. The campaign promotes animal wellness and compassion. So we saw what the 10 Lives Club was doing, what they were involved with, and we wanted to play our part in it. And playing peekaboo is Big Red, a special needs cat who passed away, rescued by the shelter's owner. I think this is a, the perfect sculpture to end the Bills season and to get ramped up for next year. You know, we kind of embrace each other. We win together, we lose together. This kind of says it all. Now, if you come to the back of the 10 Lives Club, it's where this sculpture stands. And it's already gained a lot of attention from many Western New Yorkers. On your side, reporting from the back of 10 Lives Club, Keelan Berrien, Channel 2 News.